To ensure the best scan, position yourself in as much light as possible. Natural light is best, but in general, the more light the better. And also be sure to remove glasses, hats, or other accessories, and pull back any hair that might cover your face. Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. You guys don't even have to watch this video. I made a face scan tutorial for last year's game and the face scanning is just the same. So if you want to go check that video out, you can. But if you want to listen to this tutorial, you can as well. The system is still the same. The equipment is still the same. Let's hop into it. When your scan begins, you'll need to turn your head to the left and right as slowly as possible. It's important to stay focused on the PlayStation camera, keeping it at eye level until the scan is complete. We recommend holding the PlayStation camera in front of your face about 6 to 12 inches away. The whole process should only take a couple of minutes. Please completely fill the window with your face. The window will turn green when it's correct. In just a few seconds, your scan will automatically begin and the screen will turn white to help give you every bit of light possible. Turn your head to the left and then to the right. We momentarily lost track of your head. Please completely fill the window with your face. The window will turn green when it's correct. In just a few seconds, your scan will automatically begin and the screen will turn white to help give you every bit of light possible. All right, just to let you guys know, it was pretty brutal, man. The face scanning process is just as hard as it was last year. And I'm going to say that to say this. I feel like they've changed a few key things in face scanning, but just about is just the same. So check it out. This is what happens. If you have facial hair, your facial hair will now become the skin pigment. It won't look black anymore. It won't have that black fade to it where it just look like hair is there and you're mad and you know you're trying to change it and everything. It's going to look like skin as well as your eyebrows. Your eyebrows now will be a skin tone. So when you scan your face, you're going to see like your line where it's supposed to be, your mustache and everything like that where it's supposed to be. But then you have to place hair on top of that. If you have a head full of hair, in which I don't, you have the easiest job in the world because you can put on any head preset because you come out bald. It's really, really good. But what I will say about face scanning is that since the system is still the same, I think that we are using inferior equipment. And the reason that I say this is there has to be some other way we can do this. Maybe DSLR cameras, maybe use our phones, our iPads, our tablets, maybe even use the camera that I'm recording this commentary with, a C930E from Logitech. Great quality, great specs, and I just believe that, you know, there has to be something for us to upgrade instead of using the PlayStation camera and using the Xbox One Connect. Because I'm going to tell you right now, it ain't cutting it. I'm going to let you guys know a few things that I used in my face scanning. You guys will probably notice that there's nothing behind me. That's called a green screen. But instead of a green sheet that I'm using right now, I used a white sheet and a brown sheet. So basically what I did was I put the white sheet, which has like a little bit of layers in it, whereas though it's kind of like see-through. And then I used a dark brown, I mean a dark brown sheet. I mean, I'm talking about like chocolate cocoa sheet then what i did was i uh, hooked up my playstation camera on top of my monitor which i'm using right now which is a benq monitor it keeps everything at eye level so what happens is all i have to do is look straight and i'm already at eye level and all i got to do is turn my head left and right now seeing as though i have a weird head whereas though you can barely see my ears on the side the camera kept losing my face for a little bit so what i used to do is i move all the way in i mean move this close to the camera and get a nice little face shot, pause, and then back up and then turn my head left and right. And then every time I got center, I would get back close again so I can catch the reference points that it really needs. When it's capturing the side of your face, it's just capturing how your your cheekbones really are and like what a little bit of what your jawline is, but it's not capturing the depth that it needs. So when you're face scanning, I need your PlayStation camera, your Xbox Connect. I need you to really have it at your eyes. Don't have it at your eyebrows and don't have it at the bridge of your nose because what will happen is either your eyes will be on your eyebrows or your eyes will be on your cheekbones. And that's what you don't want. You don't want to have a lip here, a lip here, a lip here, and a lip here, and no chin. You don't want to have nostrils here, nostrils here, and nostrils here, and nostrils there. You are not in the episode of Star Trek, ladies and gentlemen. So look, get yourself a backdrop. 
or get like a nice color tone wall or something like that. If you cannot do this where you don't have bay windows or you don't have windows that bring in natural light, get yourself a lighting kit. Now, I'm not saying go on Amazon and get yourself some studio products and nothing like that. You can go to Walmart. You can get a lamp that has a swivel on it that adjusts, that has a white crown around the daylight bulbs that you have to buy. Yes, only daylight bulbs. Don't buy any other bulbs. Daylight bulbs only. Now, you don't have to go out and get four, five, six, seven different lights. You can get two lights, have one on the left, one on the right, because you don't want that direct burn on the center of your face because your face is going to be all light right here, and then it's going to have to try to figure out what happened here so you, you might have a long stripe down your uh, face that's all like burn mark or something like that it's a lot of different things that can happen to you now what i can tell you about my face scan if you guys notice under my eyes i actually captured a little bit of my real eyes under the game's eyes so i will be doing another face scan later down the line but what i did actually do was i saved the face scan then I came back into the program, which is my player, and just changing a few settings, hair, and stuff like that. And it actually took away, like, the actual line marks and put, like, little, like, I guess you could say, like, uh, bags under my eyes. It looked like a little bit. Like, it just was like, nah, we know we effed up, so we're going to put these bags under your eyes for you real quick. So, remember, you need a backdrop. Either white sheet, if you're dark skin, brown sheet. If you're... Uh, light skin latino or something get like a, a cream type sheet or something like that something that mimics your skin tone because you don't want to grab a sheet and when you turn your face to the side and it captures this you have a white mark or a green mark or something like that when you're doing it with different colors so try to grab a sheet or a backdrop similar to your skin tone i cannot stress that enough Get yourself a lighting kit or a lamp, stand-up lamp that has a swivel on it, and buy only daylight bulbs. Get yourself a PlayStation camera or Xbox One Connect, and get to it. Um, what I do want to do is uh, go ahead and leave your face scans inside the description in the comment section, whether they be on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, whatever. Just leave the link below. I'll approve all of the comments that come through because YouTube's filter just takes out everybody's links all the time it's just so weird but if you leave them below i'll check them out and maybe i'll do a compilation video maybe of the worst face scans the best face scans this is ikc signing out i'm gonna highlight you guys in the next video peace yeah.